Today I'm looking at a product called the Smart Cup, which is advertised as the world's first printed beverage. Does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. Now my friend Jaden first told me about this product on a Facebook post. It has a couple hundred thousand views. And like I said, it's supposed to be the world's first printed beverage. So I ordered this pack of 10 nine ounce cups off Amazon for 20 bucks, so $2 a piece. I haven't opened it up yet. Um, I picked the Tropical Punch flavor, which was the most popular on Amazon. So I figured that was probably the best chance of having one I like. It's kind of marketed as an energy drink. So I guess for $2 a piece, it really isn't that bad. It's not one of those all natural things. There's definitely a lot of ingredients that goes into it. The other thing is that it does state that there is 125 milligrams of caffeine in each cup. No sugar, it's vegan, low carb, low calories, and they say eco-friendly, which takes me to the comments on the Facebook video that I saw. The Facebook video with 200,000 views has like 300 comments. I went through all of them. A lot of people were saying this is a single use product, so it's very wasteful, but the companies frequently ask questions, notes that it's bioplastic and sustainable. So there seems to be a difference of opinion on whether this is a wasteful product or not. Before I go further, let me just open this up and see what they look like. Interesting smell. Do not eat. Okay, I, that's, I can do that. I did just notice the packaging says you, you should consume these within 20 to 1 days of opening the package, which is, I'm not sure everybody's gonna like that. Now there's a blank cup included, which there's a reason for that and I can't remember what it was, but that's the flavor which is printed into the cup. It's not an overly large cup. They say this is bioplastic. What they don't say is, what about all this packaging? What's this made out of? They don't say that that's bioplastic. I actually sent an email to the company asking about that and they haven't responded yet, but I'll let you know if they do respond. Now they state that our cups are made of eco-friendly bioplastic because bioplastic is derived from a renewable resource. Plants, our cups are sustainable. Plus smart cups reduces the carbon footprint created by the added energy costs of transporting canned and bottled liquids. So they're trying to promote this as an environmentally friendly solution even though it's a one use cup. That's pretty bold. A few people asked how this is any better than just a powdered energy drink that you add to a bottle. That's a good question. Others asked why you can't just print these as tablets you can add to a water bottle without having a single used cup. That's another good question too. I don't have the answer to that. Someone in the comments said it's a good idea for kids or for parties as opposed to a large container that kids can spill. But others pointed out that there's 125 milligrams of caffeine here so maybe it's not a good idea for kids. Other people thought it was a great idea and they were excited about the prospect so Opinions are all over the place in this thing. I'll reserve judgment until I try the actual drink itself. The instructions say just add water and it stirs itself. I don't know how it does that. Normally I would just go over to my fridge and fill it up there, but since I'm trying to show you on camera, I'm gonna pour it from a cup. Here we go. It's a little bit like one of those Alka-Seltzers where you can see every, the bubbles come up from the bottom. Interesting. Well, I'm just gonna let this sit here for a minute until it's totally dissolved. It's not dissolved yet. I don't see anything in the bottom anymore. Oh yeah, I do. It's been two minutes and it's still dissolving. I can still see those tablets, if you wanna call them tablets. They're not quite tablets, but that's, for lack of a better word, I'm gonna call them flavor tablets. They're almost done. I'm just gonna wait and try this when it's done. All right, total time is three minutes. I've got high hopes for you smart cups, so you better come through. Not quite what I expected. Um, it, it, it's a little bit blander than I expected. It almost has like an unsh a barely sweetened Gatorade taste to it. It's not a bad flavor, it's just not a very strong flavor. Well, I really can't decide if I like this or not, so let me bring in my son, Bran. We just finished a taste test of some Starbucks drinks on his channel. So he's, he's got his palate already cleansed for this, so let me bring Bran in here and see what he thinks about it. I get over here. Get over here. Hey, there he is. I used to call him the cameraman, but he's not my cameraman anymore because he works all the time. Yeah, you got a tripod for that now. <laughs> yeah, I, the cameraman is my tripod. Try this drink. Oh, these are the uh, smart smart cups. cups yeah. You got. Yeah, I remember yeah. when you got this in the mail. Yeah. So they're like printed in the. Yeah, they're printed in the. They're printed in the bottom. That's so cool. 
But does it like go away after it dissolves? Cool yeah, oh, it dissolves. that's so cool. I, I just tried it. I ha I didn't. Oh. I haven't told him what I think about it yet. Okay, I know exactly what this tastes like. Uh oh, here we go. This tastes kind of like a, like a crystal white packet you pour into like oh. a water bottle. It tastes kind of similar to that. I didn't think about that. Crystal light's pretty close. Yeah, it's a pretty close comparison. I was saying a barely sugared Gatorade, but that's, that's crystal light's probably even better. That's what it tastes crystal like. Crystal light, yeah, yeah, yeah. How funny. I like it though. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. There's caffeine in there too. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's not very sweet though. I thought it was going to be this like overly sweet like Kool Aid no, flavor. No, it's, it's kind of subdued. Would you pay two bucks for that? I don't know about that, that. That full cup of that, would you pay two bucks for it? I don't think so. Uh oh. Is it, is it worth the same as a monster? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he's hopping off the bandwagon now. I think it's cool though. I like the, the idea of like having a, the drink 3D printed onto the bottom. That's really cool. Well, you might get the rest of these for work because I'm probably not going to drink that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for your opinion. All right, here you go. All right, now go edit your Starbucks video. Now. Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, the Crystal Light, that's actually a pretty good comparison. I, I didn't drink a lot of Crystal Light because that was kind of after my time, but that's pretty close, yeah. It's like a caffeinated Crystal Light. For two bucks for a cup? I don't know about that. Now they said, if you're not thrilled about the taste, which the taste is okay to me, I don't think the taste is necessarily the problem. You could try adding juice or tea or sparkling water. I'm going to get my Perrier water and see how that reacts with it. Drink number two. Here we go. Whoa. All right, it's it's doing something. This is how I check to make sure it's done. I check the bottom to see if they're there or not. Right now, it's still dissolving. Last time I took three minutes. Let's see how long this takes. I'm also gonna try some cranberry juice. Let's try that as well. That doesn't look like it's dissolving. All right, and just for comparison's sake, I've added water from my fridge to a, a third one, so I've got three of them going at the same time. Here are the contestants. Perrier water, water from the fridge, and cranberry juice. Cranberry juice still dissolving. Water from the fridge still dissolving. Perrier water done. Let's try this out. Taste test number two for the Perrier water. It should taste the same with some bubbles in it. Let's see. Hmm, you know what? I kind of like that a little bit better. It's still not a very bold flavor. It's kind of a Lightly sweetened, like you said, crystal light flavor with 125 milligrams of caffeine in it. In a cup that's supposed to be bio-friendly, it comes in a package that I'm not sure if it is or not. It's a very strange product. You know what's weird is that the water I added about a minute after the cranberry juice, and the cranberry juice, it's still dissolving, but the water is already done. I'm not really sure why, because they're both about the same temperature. So, I don't know. Plain water. Sparkling water. Yeah, the sparkling water is better by far for some reason. The juice takes a lot longer. They did say if you don't like the flavor to try juice. So that's their instructions, not mine. All right, the cranberry juice is finally dissolved in here. It took about five minutes. Let's try it out. Hmm. All I taste is cranberry juice. Do I need a $2 cup with some flavoring in there for cranberry juice? Probably not. This is basically caffeinated cranberry juice to me. All right, let me bring Brandon back in here one more time to see what he thinks about the three flavors. Brandon, get back in here. All right, you thought you were done, didn't you? Get back in here again one more okay. time. That's right. Um, it's very important. We're trying smart cups here. Yeah. Okay. All right, you had the you had the regular water. Try the regular water one more time. All right. Okay. Now this is with Perrier water, same oh, flavor. Oh, water. Yep. Okay. Okay. And this is cranberry juice. I want to see if he has the same conclusion that I do. I already got it. All right. What do you think? Go. Cranberry juice is the best. Tap water is second. Sparkling water is third. Oh, wow. That's completely different than I thought. Really? Yeah. I think sparkling water is the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the cranberry juice was good, but all I taste is cranberry juice. Like, I don't need a cup for that cranberry juice flavor. Did you even taste the other flavor in there? No, I did. Did you? Yeah, okay. I, taste, I tasted both in there. Okay, well difference of opinion I guess. That just shows that this is going to be one of those things that there's no consensus to I think. All right thanks. All right. All right get out of here again. All right I've got to come to a, some sort of a conclusion on the smart cups. I think that technology wise it's pretty impressive that you can print a flavor into a cup. Very cool. I think that even though it's bioplastic the concerns about it being a single-use product 
are valid. I think the people that say that you could just print these as tablets and drop them in any cup have a valid point, but then there's already products like that. So this wouldn't be so high tech if that were the case. That's probably why they have to do that. I think taste wise, it was all right. When you add other drinks to it, it masks the otherwise somewhat weak flavor. It is caffeinated, so probably not a good idea for kids. So I don't, I think some people are gonna really like the idea and some people won't. Um, it's, I'm glad I tried it. It's something that I think a lot of people would probably wanna try at least once. I'm not sure if I'll buy these again though. What do you think about a product like this? Is it bad environmentally or is it actually sustainable like they say it is? Is $2 too much for something like that or is it on par with other energy drinks? What do you guys think? Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.